As a general rule, British thrillers seem to move very slow, whereas Chinese thrillers are more evenly paced. So why in this British-Chinese collaboration did they opt for the British slow pace? Cinematic class is about to begin and uh, the professor is in. Ladies and gentlemen, today's lesson plan deals with Susu. It is a collaborative effort between the British and the Chinese for a thriller, and all of the basic elements that would comprise a good thriller are present here. It has the mysterious castle, strange people not being who they want to be, and a mystery surrounding an old established British family. It's shot in Gothic style, and that certainly is good. The framing and the lighting fit the genre well. And there's a really uh, unique ploy that is used both at the beginning of the film and at the end of the film. And that is little snippets of action are presented and then immediately go into a long fade to black. And then the screen opens up again. Totally different characters, totally different place. We see that, and then it fades to black, and then another one. And then when you put like all three or four of the scenes together, they begin to make sense. They develop the character and the plot. It's a nice ploy. And I think if it had been used all through Act 2, instead of just at the beginning and the end, this movie may have moved just a little bit better. It's a fine cast. The acting is swell. There, there's no problems there. It's not a, a rookie thing by any means. Everyone does their job. There are some inconsistencies and in continuity in the plot. For example, we see one scene where the two uh, girlfriends are, are arguing about this weekend job, and the one says, I possibly, and there's no way I could possibly go to this. And in the very next scene, she's with her friend knocking on the door. So it's like, wait, what happened there? How did that happen? So, uh, you know, with little things like that and, and, and then the slow moving plot on this thing. Wow. Made it a little bit difficult to get through. Uh, it's one of those movies where all of the elements are there and you think to yourself, wow, this really could have been a lot better than what I'm seeing. I have a lot more to say about this on my written review, which you can find on the blog spot. In true independent filmmaking style, Gigi Sullivan does yeoman duty. <laughs> really, he not only wrote the movie and directed it, but he also served as the film's editor. Some talent there. I'd like to see him try again. This time maybe put a little quicker pace to the movie and I think it'll be okay. Say, for those of you that watch these a little video home capsule critiques, I'm pleased to announce that you can now see full episodes of the award-winning Outtakes with Fiore as we are being hosted now by Vimeo. Here's the link that you need to follow. Finally, at last, the complete Outtakes with Fiore episodes are online for the first time. I think you're going to like them. Now that you have learned what you have learned, here endeth your lesson. <laughs>